everybody, Mrs. Harris here. Today's I Can statement is, I can use line pattern size to give the hot air balloon the illusion of depth. Ancient China used paper lanterns to send signals into the air. This was the inspiration for the hot air balloon. The hot air balloon is the oldest form of flying technology that successfully carried people. The first tethered flight, that means it was connected with a rope, was in September of 1783. Without being attached to the ground, two weeks later, the hot air balloon took its first flight. It flew five and a half miles. This flight took about 25 minutes. If you ever have the chance to take a ride in a hot air balloon, I highly suggest you do. It is so peaceful up there. The materials that are used now are much lighter and they're such bright colors. That's my favorite part about the summer is looking for those hot air balloons. All right, when we start to draw our balloon, there's a few things I want you guys to think about. It's not a circle. And when we draw it, it's not gonna look like this either. This is more of the balloon that we find on the string, and that's not what we're drawing. We're drawing a hot air balloon, and it's going to have an opening where the flame will go up, and then where it would be attached to the basket. So you're gonna create a small line down here. That's about two, three inches long. And then you're gonna come up, and you're gonna go out and bring it around. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you wanna add a pattern on here. And you want people to believe that this is dimensional. So to do that, you might draw a line straight down, but all the rest of them have to curve with the balloon. The reason this one gets to stay that way is because it is right in line with the center of it. So it gets to stay that way because these ones curve to the right and these will curve to the left. So if I was to draw my line straight, my balloon is going to look flat. This side of the balloon looks curved. This side of the balloon looks flat. Let's start it on our big piece of paper. I'm gonna give you guys a nice sized piece of paper because we're gonna be drawing the balloon towards the top, the basket down here, and we're gonna end up cutting the whole thing out. So I'm gonna start at the bottom, not the bottom, excuse me. I'm gonna start you know, about my hand length up and I'm gonna create a huge balloon. I don't wanna create a little guy. I wanna really use my paper and come around. So there's the beginning of my balloon. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this line down the middle, and then I'm gonna create my folds or my creases where the balloon has been sewn together. Balloons are made out of a thin fabric. They're very flammable. Um, if I wanted to, I could even kind of make this a little bit rounded so you could kind of see up into it. I might create just boxes. I could create dots going up my middle row. This is all about patterns again. And again, these lines need to be curved a little bit. I made those two straight. As I look back, I'm like, hmm, that's not gonna work. Because again, you want it to look like it's popping out and then some more dots. I'm gonna go ahead and black marker this and I will be right back. Okay, I finished black markering and then I'm gonna obviously go ahead and erase all of my pencil lines. I'm gonna use crayons to add color to this because I just think it's gonna work a lot better. I'm gonna create patterns with my crayons and create pattern colors and I'm gonna have some different techniques that you can try that I'll show you a picture of on the video. You watched me make some different patterns with crayons, and here's some other ideas. Don't forget, you can put crayon on top of crayon. Color solid. Okay, I've created a pattern up here and a different one here, and I've done them each differently. I did some pink stripes and then colored in between purple. This one, I did the whole background green, and then I went over it with the darker green polka dots. Don't forget to let some go off the page. I'll repeat that throughout. I'll probably bring this pattern back down here. Our next step is we're gonna cut it out, and I'm gonna show you that in just a second. All right, now that we've got the balloon cut out, and I've left a bubble cut all the way around, we have to pretend that I'm all done with this because I just don't have time to finish it in class. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it. Now, please, friends, remember when you're using glue, it's just a dot, not a lot. I don't need to saturate this. Saturate means get the thing sopping wet. I hope you can kind of see how much glue I've got on there, and there's not a lot of glue on there. If you get it too heavy, it's gonna leak and I can't, it's just gonna be a mess. I didn't put it on the paper, I put it on what I'm attaching it to, just like a sticker. And I'm gonna put it up towards the top. 
And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I need to create a basket. And as you can see, you can do a basket, a circle shape, anything you want. It's made out of wicker because it's super lightweight and I'm gonna put it down here below it. Now, when I look at that, I've got it nicely done. I'm gonna take my black marker and I'm gonna draw some lines attaching it. Notice how I kind of lifted up my balloon so it looks more realistic. I could create a balloon to put in the background. Notice it's little. Why is it so little? Because it's further away, remember that. So I could make a little basket for this and add color to that to create that illusion. Remember, we're always trying to make our viewers believe they can reach right in. The other thing I can add if I'd like to is I could add some clouds. Now that is not a cloud. A cloud needs to be nice and solid. And if I felt like making it a little bit trickier, I can even go in and I can do this too, where I could lift up and have it go underneath here. Because again, I didn't put a ton of glue on there, so I can really make people believe that the cloud is going behind the balloon. Again, I'm layering, creating that overlap effect. And if I wanted to kind of create a little bit of grayness in my cloud, I can always get a little bit of black and put it towards the bottom. But again, balloons don't fly when it's gonna rain. They could not do that, that would not be safe. And then smear that in with the white crayon. And there we go. We've got our hot air balloon for the summertime. How fun is that? <laughs>